Welcome back to another Roblox Studio tutorial. In this video, we're going to be creating a button that when you click on it, it teleports you to a different spot. All right, let's go ahead and run the game and see how it works. Okay, so once you're inside the game, you'll see you have a button down at the bottom here. If I click on this button, then it'll teleport me to that green pad over here. Okay, there we go. If I walk away from the pad, so let's just go back somewhere over here and I click this button again, it teleports me back to the green pad. All right, let's go ahead and get started and see how we can code this in Roblox Studio. Okay, so the setup for this is pretty easy. The first thing we're gonna do is add a part into the game. The size and the color don't matter, so once you have it, just go ahead and drag it somewhere over here. The next thing we're going to do is add a text button onto the screen. To do that, we need to start by going over to the Explorer menu, locate the Starter GUI section, and click on the plus sign. The first thing we're going to add is a Screen GUI. Under the Screen GUI, go ahead and press the plus sign, and now we're going to add a text button. Make sure you select Text Button and not Text Box or Text Label. After that, you can move it to wherever you want to on the screen. You can change the text and the color if you'd like. To do that, if you click on the text button, under data, you'll just scroll through. And there's different options like color. And then if you scroll down a little bit farther, you'll see the text option. So right down here, and if I change this, it'll change the text on the button. So let's just change this to teleport. And then let's make the text a little bit larger, so let's look for that. And that's going to be under the font section. And then text size. Okay, so once you have it how you like it, uh, we're going to go ahead and add a script onto this button. So under the Explore menu, go ahead and locate the text button and click on the plus sign. We're going to be adding a local script to this. You can go ahead and delete the print hello world message. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to say local button is going to be equal to script dot parent. Okay, and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to say button dot mouse with a capital M and then button with a capital B. It's going to be button one and then click with a capital C. We're going to do colon and then connect. So we're going to be connecting a function to this. Inside the parentheses, we're going to say function and then two more parentheses. And what we're going to put inside of it, first we're going to say local player. So we're creating a variable that's going to store the player information. This is going to be equal to game dot players dot local player okay and after that so we're gonna say player so this is the same player that we just created up here dot character so from the player we're going to reference its character part from its character part we're gonna reference the humanoid root part And then from there, we're going to change its C frame, which will be its position in the game. And this is going to be equal to C frame dot new. And then inside the parentheses here will be the position we're going to teleport to. And we're going to get that position from our part. So what you can do is click on that part in the background, look under data to where it says position and you're going to copy the numbers that are under position. And then what you're going to do with that, you're going to paste it inside the parentheses. And one change you'll have to make, so this middle number right here is the Y position, which controls the up and down. You want to change that to 5. What this is going to do, it's going to teleport it a little bit above the block, so that when you press the teleport button, it doesn't spawn you inside of it. Okay, so after you take the position from the part, the only thing you have to do is change the Y value to somewhere around 5. 
Okay, so that should be it. Let's go ahead and test our game and make sure everything's working. Okay, so I'm in the game. Let's go ahead and try the teleport button. All right, so very good. It's working. So let's just walk away for a little bit and test it one more time. And great. So let's go ahead and take a look at a few things you can do with this now. So if you're interested in using this in your game, some different things you can do with it. You can use this button to teleport a player back to like the main area or maybe the main lobby. You can also set up different parts or different areas with different buttons. So you can have maybe three or four different buttons at the bottom or maybe in a menu. And that way a player can select a particular location and then spawn to that location. And finally, this also might be useful as a reset button. So if you're doing an obby or something like that, you can use this button to restart back to the beginning. Okay, this is going to be the end of this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for the next one.